Okay, this is going to be a follow-up to my rolling method uh, video in pandas. And uh, I just thought I would add a little bit of uh, basic stock price analysis uh, to complete that, that video. Um, so we're going to uh, we're going to add some columns. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is add a, a column to uh, calculate a, a price change in, in terms of dollars. And then we're going to uh, calculate uh, what's what what can be termed as a expected change, and, and that's going to be a, a a one standard deviation movement in the price. All right, and then we will uh, add yet another column that calculates how big the actual change was uh, in terms of standard deviations. Uh, we'll take a look at a histogram of that, and then. Uh, we will get a, a scatter plot of the absolute value of this magnitude of change versus the actual change. And it, it'll help us characterize uh, about how, uh, in this case, gold price moves daily. Okay, and as I said, I'm just going to scroll up here a little bit. The, this is building on a previous video that I made uh, called the pandas rolling function. And... Um, We've already done some basic stuff, like uh, collect some data and, and then done some, uh, some data transformation and added a couple of uh, moving averages and, and then uh, gone ahead and plotted that. All right, And then we uh, calculated the volatility of uh, the daily price change as a 21-day uh, uh, rolling average of the uh, of the or excuse me a 21 day rolling standard deviation all right and so uh, from there I'm just going to sort of pick up and uh, I'm going to add a column to our data frame all right and it's called gold close all right and I'm going to call that the actual change all right and it's just going to equal the closing price uh, today minus, or excuse me, the closing price yesterday minus uh, today, so we can see uh, how big the change was. So it's going to be okay. And so I'm using the shift function here. You can actually leave off the one because that's the default value. All right, uh, but I'll go ahead and run that. And then uh, just to make sure we're getting what we think we're getting, I'm going to go ahead and get the first few rows all right so there's the change all right so if you just look at the close all right and then uh, you can see that okay yes it did go up about 42 cents uh, um, from the the ninth to the 12th okay so it does look like we're getting what we think uh, I'm gonna go ahead and now add a another column all right, and we're going to call this the expected change. All right, and that's going to equal the closing price again. All right, and we're going to multiply this by uh, a, a, uh, a one standard deviation or that 21 day uh, rolling uh, standard deviation. We're going to be using today's uh, volatility at the close of today to predict a one standard deviation move tomorrow. Okay, so with that done, I'm going to go ahead and then just peel off data that actually has value. So if we Again, just quickly look at the head of this data set. We're going to find that, well, there's lots of, there's, there's some blanks in here. Okay. And uh, so to, to uh, get rid of that, I'm just going to actually have to slice off the first column. All right. Or the, sorry, the first row. So I'm going to set this equal to... using the iloc function, uh, everything uh, after the first row. 
All right, so now we have a, a clean data set. We've added a couple of columns to it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead now and uh, calculate a, a, a what can be termed as a magnitude of change. Uh, I'm going to divide the actual change by the expected change, and what we're going to end up with is a column of values that are in standard deviations. Okay, so... I'll just add that column. Okay, and with that done, we can then go ahead and plot a histogram, and we can get an idea of uh, what a typical uh, distribution of uh, changes in terms of standard deviations looks like. So we'll go ahead and plot that magnitude column. Okay. All right, so we end up with a, with a little histogram. All right, I just used the defaults here. Um, and we can see that, well, the distribution doesn't quite look normal. Uh, everything does fall within just about three standard deviations of the, the mean. And um, we can see that uh, it looks like it's a little more likely that you're going to see a negative change than a positive one in gold, at least in this uh, in the in the data set I'm working with here. All right. If you want to see a little bit more detail in your uh, histogram, right? I can add a bins argument, and uh, I'll just try 50. All right. The default's going to be somewhere around 10. All right. And then uh, with 50, uh, it looks a little bit more like this. Again, we can still see that there is more uh, happening on the negative side than on the positive side. All right, and um, we, that might be important in whatever whatever analysis you're doing. All right, uh, the last thing I'm going to do is uh, a slightly different uh, visualization of this data. I'm going to uh, make a scatter plot of the actual change versus uh, the absolute value of that magnitude. All right, so uh, first of all, I have to add that column, the absolute magnitude, we'll call it. All right, and then we're just going to set that equal to the numpy abs function. Okay, and with that done, we're ready to go ahead and make our scatter plot, see what this looks like. Okay, and we end up with this interesting plot, which sort of shows us uh, a little bit different visualization of uh, those price changes. All right, so on the x-axis we have the the change in in terms of dollars. All right, and on the y we have the absolute value of the change in terms of standard deviations. All right, so uh, just looking at that quickly, right, we can see that well, pretty much. Uh, most everything is happening uh, in here down below the 2.5 standard deviation movement. All right, and then yes, we do have some sort of outliers up here uh, in and around the, the 3 standard deviation movement. So I hope that gives a little bit more color to the, uh, the analysis we did with the rolling method in Pandas.